We're gathered here today to witness the celebration and blessing of marriage of Ryan and Tiffany. Ryan and Tiffany have chosen to come together to celebrate your love and commitment to one another. This is a moment of uniting your hearts and souls in a very special and wondrous way. Ryan and Tiffany, <clears throat> I want to welcome you to this uh, moment of blessing and celebration. I want you to know how much they appreciate that you have chosen to join them in your very special day. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud and it's not rude. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Marriage is a commitment to life, the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth no other human relationship can equal. A physical and emotional joining is promised for a lifetime. Within a circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, critic and listener, the embodiment of real love. Love and marriage are not always easy, but along with tenderness and joy in your marriage, you must deal with whatever tension and conflicts arise. Love needs regular nourishment to stay alive. When love lives as it does here today, it reflects the deepest, most tender secrets of God's creation of life. Love makes you stronger, so you can reach out and become involved in life in ways you dare not risk alone. So listen to each other with an open mind and a loving heart. Remember these words, I love you. They have a very special meaning just for the two of you. Tell you, lover. You can repeat it back. Thank you. Not bad. <laughs> so I challenge you both, Ryan and Tiffany, with the responsibility to keep your love alive, to grow, to change, to keep the spontaneity and humor alive. Be flexible and warm and sensitive with one another. Give fully to each other. Show your real feelings for one another, but most importantly, save time for one another. You're two individuals who enrich one another by having a single life, a shared life. You've chosen to marry because you belong with each other and not to each other. I urge you to nurture each other to the fullness and wholeness in daily living and to seek one another out for the strength and support you will need to receive and give in order to grow into the love you profess in your vows today. Ryan, will you have Tiffany to be your wife? To live together in holy marriage, be a lover, honor her sickness and health, forsaking all others as long as you both shall live. Hello. Tiffany, will you have Ryan to be your husband to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, honor him in sickness and health, forsaking all others as long as you both shall live, and Ryan will be the boss from now on? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You do? I will more. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> we got it, buddy. <laughs> With the blessing of your family, your friends, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs>